Welcome to Module 3, Lesson 4. Let's get started. In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to count by units of six and use number bonds to decompose. We're learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently when we use math in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can mentally decompose and add numbers as a strategy in skip counting. We will use a number bond to break apart and make 10. Then solve the equation 6 plus 6 equals. As you can see, we've broken apart 6 into 2 plus 4. The reason we did that is so that we could use this 4, combine it with the 6 to make 10. So that's why we have 10 down here. The 2 is the amount that's left over when you broke apart the 4 from the 6. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. We've taken the 4 and added that to the second add-in to make this 10. And we have 2 left over, and we moved it down there. Now we have a new equation. 2 plus 10 equals. Answer. 2 plus 10 equals 12. Let's try it again. Use the number bond to break apart and make 10. Then solve the equation. This time we broke apart the 12 to make a 10. 12 is the same as 10 plus 2. So this 10 was broken apart from the 12 and this 8 is the sum of 2 plus 6. Our new equation is 10 plus 8 equals. Answer, 10 plus 8 equals 18. Let's try 18 plus 6. We'll use a number bond to break apart and make 10. Then we'll solve the equation. How can we make 10? Here's one way. We can break apart the 6 into 2 plus 4 and add the 2 to 18. The 20 is a multiple of 10. So this 20 is the sum of 18 plus 2. Now we have 4 left over, which we've brought down here. Our new equation is 20 plus 4 equals. Answer, 20 Let's count, skip count by 6 10 times. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. What multiplication equation did we just solve? Answer, 10 times 6 equals 60. We counted by 6 10 times to get to 60. What is a related division equation? 
So 10 times 6 is the same as 10 groups of 6. 6 is the number in each group, and 60 is the number in all. So our division equation that is related would put the biggest number first. So the product is now the first number in the division equation. Divided by the number of groups, which is 10, equals the number in each group, 6. Let's use our strategies to complete a read, draw, write question. We're going to read the question, pick out the most important information, then we'll draw a picture to help solve the problem. This could be any math model. And finally, we'll write the answer as a sentence using information from the question. A troop of 24 Girl Scouts stayed in six cabins. How many were in each cabin? Use skip counting to solve. I'm going to my Google Jamboard so we can draw a math model. There are several math models that we can use. I like to use the tape diagram for skip counting. We know that there are 24 Girl Scouts. and there are six in each cabin. So we're going to skip count by sixes to get to 24. Are you ready? Six, 12, 18, 24. There are four girls in each cabin. So we can say that there are six cabins with four Girl Scouts in each cabin. There are four Girl Scouts in each cabin because 24 divided by 6 equals 4. I used skip counting to solve the division equation. Let's check our answer. Answer, there were four Girl Scouts in each cabin because there are four sixes in 24. Now it's your turn to complete a redraw right question on your own. We'll read it together, and then you'll pick out the most important information, draw a math model, and write sentences to answer the question. When you've done your very best work, you can look in the description box below to check your answer. Six groups of children went on a field trip. There were six children in each group. How many children in all went on the field trip? 
count by units of six to solve. Okay, you can pause the video here, do your very best work, and I'll see you in the next lesson.